Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Ethereum is bouncing from this critical line on the price chart, while Solana is heading towards its all-time high, but is also still flashing this potential warning signal in the shorter term, while Chainlink is also flashing the same potential warning signal here in the short term, while Sui is breaking up towards this massive bull run price target. So I'll be talking about all of that and more later in the video, so definitely watch to the end. First of all, starting off on the weekly Ethereum chart, and right now the price of ETH is still playing out the bull run, bouncing from this major ascending line of support, still sitting close to 2.4k. So on the weekly time frame, not much has changed for Ethereum. We're still playing out huge bullish price structure, expecting to see a major bull run in the price of ETH, essentially following Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market. And if we're taking a look at this three-day time frame, of course, in the shorter term, we're still struggling around this major Fibonacci level of resistance sitting close to 3.2k so right now that's still acting as strong resistance but once we can see a confirmed breakout with a three-day candle close above 3.2k in that case we'll likely head up towards around three and a half thousand and above that level then we are targeting around 3.9k to 4k as the next major resistance after we can break out above these levels but with that being said, if we're taking a look at this daily time frame, of course, we still have this major area of resistance right here, sitting in between around 34.30 to 35.60. So expect a lot of sell pressure, basically the price struggling in this price range right here. But when it comes to support, we do have support at just above $3,000, more specifically around 30.20 to 30.40 approximately acting as support. So once again, just above $3,000. But if we were to see a breakback, below 3,000, at least in the short term, obviously that would be a bearish signal, likely pointing towards a move down towards this next major area of support based on previous resistance, now acting as new support, and that's sitting in between 2.7K to 2.8K. But once again, we do have support at just above 3,000 between right now and that lower area of support. And if we're taking a look at the shorter term on the two hour Ethereum chart, over the last one day, we saw that breakout to the upside from this falling word pattern, basically breaking out above this descending line of resistance, which was sitting at around 31.20 approximately. And since that breakout, we've actually come back down for a retest. And at least as of recording this video, we're currently bouncing from this line right here. So this is basically acting as a descending line of support right now. And this line on the price chart is currently sitting at around 3080. So just below 3.1K acting as support. And obviously it's lowering basically every single day here. But obviously if the price of ETH just continues hovering above this line, but going lower and lower as the line actually goes lower, then essentially we can call this breakout a fail or basically a fake out. And so that would invalidate this falling wedge pattern if we do not bounce very, very soon. So we really need to see a bounce right now from this line of support in order to potentially continue to play out this falling wedge pattern and head up towards the bullish price target, which would be sitting at around 33.80. So just below around 3.4K as a bullish price target. But once again, for this to actually start playing out, we need to very soon, as in over the next one or two days, see a bounce here from this line. Otherwise, if we continue this little pullback here over the next one or two days, we can basically call this falling wedge pattern invalidated. And so in that situation, we would essentially just look at support and resistance on this daily time frame. as right now the price of ETH is basically in a bit of a sideways price range, chopping around, just consolidating sideways, as we could see, cooling off after that extreme bullish move that we saw around one to two weeks ago. And also I'll be paying attention to Bitcoin, even if I'm just focusing on altcoins here, because Bitcoin usually leads the majority of the crypto market. So if Bitcoin continues its bull run, there's a very good chance that Ethereum and a lot of altcoins will also continue their bull runs, especially here on the larger timeframes. And if you want to trade these moves in the price of ETH or any other crypto, check out the link down below this video. It will take you to Bitinex, which is one of the top exchanges out there. And it's a no KYC exchange, which means you can basically access it from any country around the world. And if you use the link down below the video to Bitinex, you can get up to a 5.5K deposit bonus. And only if you use that link to make your Bitinex account, you can get up to a 10% discount on all trading fees on the Bitinex exchange forever. But that's only available if you use that link 
to make your Bitenex account. And also, if you use that link to make your Bitenex account, there's also a Bitcoin giveaway right here. If you click this Win BTC tab, it'll take you to this page right here. And the first place prize is one whole Bitcoin. And in order to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is make an account using that link, make a deposit and start trading. And so if you're going to be trading crypto anyway, you might as well check this out to potentially win one whole Bitcoin just by trading crypto using that link. But as another exchange out there, if you don't want BTNX for whatever reason, there's also Bybit, which is one of the top exchanges out there for trading crypto. And if you use the link below this video to Bybit, there's a 500 USDT position airdrop, but that's only available if you use that link. And with that being said, if we're taking a look at Solana on the two day time frame, we're continuing this move towards the Solana all time high in US dollar terms. And that all time high is sitting at around 260 US dollars. And so from the current price of Solana, as of recording this video to that all time high level, we're talking around a seven to 8% move to the upside. And then we're at the all time high for the price of Solana entering into new all time highs. If we simply just see an 8% pump from where we are right now, or from the current local high, the highest point that we've gotten so far to that all time high, that's only around a 5% move away from new all time highs. And so obviously Solana is getting extremely close to that all time high breakout, but it's important to understand that between now and all time highs, there is a good chance that we could find a bit of resistance just before this all time high. So at around 250 to 260, for example, I would expect some resistance around there. But once we can finally see that confirmed breakout above 260, especially with daily candle closes, for example, above 260, there's a good chance that will send the price much, much higher, likely well beyond $300 very quickly once we can actually confirm the breakout above 260. And if we're taking a look at this eight hour time frame right now, the price of Solana is still potentially flashing a bearish divergence. Basically, it's forming a bearish divergence, but this is not yet fully confirmed. As I've said over the last few days, we're forming higher highs in the price of Solana on the eight hour time frame and lower highs in the RSI on the same time frame. But with that being said, we still need to confirm the lower high in place in the RSI to actually confirm this bearish divergence. And so I want to make it clear that this is possibly forming, but not yet confirmed. Confirmed. So in other words, something to pay attention to, but nothing to really act on as of right now, because we're still waiting for confirmation and it may never confirm if we just continue pumping to the upside here, which could drag the RSI further to the upside. And if we see a breakout in the RSI above these previous highs, then there's no bearish divergence at all. And so what we need to see to confirm this bearish divergence is at least a few red candles in a row actually confirming here in the price chart, kind of like what we saw just here. We saw three in a row, which fully cemented that lower high in place in the RSI. We saw a decent pullback in the RSI. And then what came next from that point right there was a bit more of a pullback. What we saw last time, a bit more of a pullback over the next couple of days, just in the short term, but that presented a short term buying opportunity before ultimately we continued the bull market later on because remember, Remember, no matter what happens in the short term, on the larger time frames, we're looking very, very bullish right now. And so even if this actually confirms, it will likely just cause a bit of a short term buying opportunity before the bull market continues later on. But remember, for now, it's not yet confirmed at all. And with that being said, if we're taking a look at Solana versus Bitcoin on the three day time frame, I talked more in detail about this chart right here in my last altcoin video here on the channel. So if you missed that video just yesterday, definitely check it out if you want to know more in detail about this chart right here. But essentially, the price of Solana versus Bitcoin on this three day time frame is on the edge of potentially a major breakout, which means we could really start outperforming Bitcoin in basically the Solana versus Bitcoin chart, which means it would make more sense to hold Solana over Bitcoin if we actually break out here, not financial advice. That's just what it means in practical terms. But we still need to actually confirm a 3D candle close above this line of resistance, which for now has not happened. We're trading right around that line. So as of right now, we've not confirmed the breakout. We're just getting very, very close to a potential breakout on the larger timeframes for Solana versus Bitcoin. And with that being said, if we're taking a look at Chainlink on the three day time frame, because Chainlink was one of the top suggested altcoins in my last few videos here on the channel. So if you want your favorite altcoin in these videos, just comment down below and I'll try to get to the top suggested altcoins first. But now looking at Chainlink on the three day time frame, looking at this Fibonacci retracement tool from this swing high at around just under $23 down to this swing low at around $8 approximately, we have the 
golden pocket area of resistance, which is the most important Fibonacci area on the price chart. And that's sitting in between around $15.40 going up towards around $15.90. So in that price range, there's very, very strong resistance. And we've just recently seen a major rejection from that price range. And previously, we have found a lot of resistance in that same price range. So once again, in between $15.40 and $15.90, expect a lot of sell pressure, expect the price to struggle in that price range. But if we can actually see a confirmed breakout above $15.90, ideally just breaking out above $16, in that case, obviously in the short term, they'll be very, very bullish, likely sending the price up towards this next Fibonacci level of resistance, which is the 78.6% Fibonacci level. And that's sitting at around $18.30 to $18.40 approximately. So right at around that level. And also at that level, we have previous resistance already confirmed close to $18.40. And so in other words, it's extremely likely that if we first confirm a breakout above around $15.90, close to $16, if we break it above that level, it's very likely we'll pretty much go straight towards around $18.30 to $18.40. And then if we can break out above that previous high, above this Fibonacci level, then in that case, we can finally return back up into the $20 price range. And of course, Chainlink, just like a lot of major altcoins out there, will likely head in the bullish direction if Bitcoin continues its bull run and vice versa. If Bitcoin, for example, crashed, there's a good chance that Chainlink would also play out similar price action. So pay attention to what Bitcoin is doing for a good idea on what most altcoins will likely do. And if we're zooming into the shorter term for Chainlink, looking at the eight hour time frame, we've actually just seen two candle closes confirming this new bearish divergence in the short term with higher highs confirmed in the price and this lower high at least initially confirmed in the eight hour Chainlink RSI. And so this bearish divergence just tells us that in the immediate short term, maybe for a couple of days here, we've lost a bit of bullish momentum. So we're due to see either some choppy sideways price action or maybe even a slight pullback over the next couple of days potentially. So this is just talking about the short term. But once again, when we're zooming out, we can still remain bullish in more of a bull run, especially if Bitcoin continues its bull run. But we also have these major points of resistance that we need to be aware of. And as for support, I would expect some strong support at around $13.40 to $13.60 approximately. And with that being said, if we're taking a look at Sui, which is one of the top suggested altcoins in the comment section of these videos, and looking at the three-day time frame, obviously we've broken out here. We're looking very, very bullish, basically playing out a bull run, just like Bitcoin and a lot of the crypto market. And the next major price target on the larger time frames for the price of Sui is this 1618 Fibonacci extension. When we're looking at the Fibonacci retracement tool from this previous swing high at around $2.18 down to this swing low at around 46 cents. That gives us the 1618 Fibonacci extension at around $5.70. And now, of course, there's a good chance that between now and then, we might see a little sideways consolidation here and there, or maybe even a slight little pullback here and there along the way up. So just keep in mind, it's unlikely the price will just move in a straight line with only green candles. But with that being said, that is a major price target and a potential point of resistance for the price of Sui in this current bull run. And in case you're wondering, from the current price, at least as of recording this video, to that price target, that's around a 50 5% move to the upside, which is a potential opportunity that we could take here. And if we're zooming into the shorter term for the price of Sui on the 12 hour time frame, there is a new bearish divergence that has recently confirmed. Similar to Chainlink, obviously, we're losing a bit of bullish momentum just in the immediate short term for the price of Sui. Once again, when we're zooming out, looking at the bigger picture, we're still in a larger bull run. But in the immediate short term, we've lost a bit of bullish momentum, playing out a new bearish divergence with higher highs confirmed in the price, lower highs confirmed in the RSI, and also losing a bit of bullish momentum momentum here in the MACD on the 12 hour time frame. And so what this tells us is that we're likely going to see a bit of a short term cool off, maybe for a couple of days, just in the short term once again. So that means either some choppy sideways price action, kind of like what we've seen over the last few days here, or maybe even a slight little pullback, but I don't necessarily expect a huge crash or anything, just maybe a short term cool off, maybe for a few days, and then continue the bull run higher later on. And so that's actually the situation for a lot of altcoins at the moment, cooling off in the immediate short term, maybe for another few days as well, but still within a larger bull market. 
And once again, if you want to trade these moves in the price of any crypto, check out those links down below this video to claim those extra bonuses. And if you want to actually know how to trade crypto, no matter if the price is bullish, bearish, or chopping around sideways, then make sure to watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how you can profit from bullish or bearish price action using long positions or short positions. And the video in the bottom left shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.